Uh, this is Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango returning. Hi everyone, I'm Ben, I'm Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango and I'm here with a really exciting and important update. I'm delighted to say that today I passed my examination for the full RSGB license, which means that in about a week's time, I'll no longer be Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango. I'll be Mike Zero something, something, something to be decided. Haven't had a look yet to see what might be available. And I'm just so excited about it that I wanted to tell someone. So I thought you should be the first to know and to say I've passed my exam and I'm delighted that I will be a full amateur radio license holder from just a few days time. I've also got to say I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that I've not been around on YouTube for the last month. Let me tell you why that is and hopefully you'll forgive me and uh, I hope to be back on YouTube a little bit more frequently very soon. Well I have taken some advice of my own. Someone watched one of my videos and said Ben you said that uh, the thing to do is to book in for an exam and then study afterwards. Why haven't you booked in for your full examination yet? So I thought, OK, well, I may as well do that. Uh, back in May, I booked in for my foundation examination and there was a two and a half month lead time between booking in for the exam and actually taking it. By the time I'd done all of my reading and research and things, I was well and truly ready to take the exam. And yet I still had to wait, wait for two and a half months before I could take it. Uh, I took it in the May and I passed with flying colours, which was great. I then thought in about August time I should book in for my intermediate so I booked in first this time and then ordered the books did the reading and passed in October there was a two month wait to take my exam this time with the full exam I went on the website booked in at the first available slot only to find out that it was four weeks away which meant I only had four weeks to do all of the reading and the research that I needed to do before taking my exam this morning. I thought I'd tell you what I did with those four weeks. Well, I've got three resources for you. Uh, this is the first one, no surprise. This is the manual for the full license available from the RSGB. Uh, it's quite an in-depth read. It took me quite a long time to read, although it's only 100 pages and it's set out well, lots of pictures, lots of images in there. Uh, yet still, it's quite in-depth um, and my little head hurt reading this, but I sort of churned through this. It took me about two weeks to read this and really understand it. And as I went through, I made some flashcards. Let me show you them. They're just here. And uh, yeah, on each flashcard, I sort of had a different things written on the front and then a bit of an explanation on the back, including all of the different uh, bits of the, the course and chapters and all of the um, many, 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 many formulas that you need to learn and well you don't need to learn them because you're given them but you need to learn what they actually do so I made some flashcards as I went so that hopefully I'll be able to revise and remember things. Secondly no surprises this is the other book that goes with it exam secrets this is for all three levels and there's uh, practice questions in there and also practice papers at the end of the book so I got myself a copy of this for the intermediate uh, but of course it also had all the stuff in there for the full as well and after I read one chapter from this book, I then did the questions to test myself from this book and then saw if I had any gaps in my learning. So that was two resources. The next resource I had was this from my friend Steve, Mike Zero, November Mike Alpha. He'd been on a course for his full license. Well, it was actually the advanced license when he took it a few years ago and he gave me his course notes. So I was able to look through there and compare his course notes with that which I'd been looking at in the syllabus itself. And then the last thing, because I'm quite a visual learner and I like to watch things on YouTube, I was tremendously grateful for the Cornish Amateur Radio Club who have put on really comprehensive training notes for foundation, intermediate and full. I've used them all the way along and uh, although it was the advanced rather than the full licence, there was a syllabus change in 2019, 90% uh, of it's the same. So it was really helpful to have that sort of visually displayed for me as I learned from the Cornish Amateur Radio Club. So thank you so much to them as well. And with those four resources, I was able to do all of the training I needed. On the RSGB's website, you'll find a couple of mock examinations. I did my first mock examination 
two weeks ago, my second mock examination a week ago, and my third mock examination about four days ago, and uh, I saw my scores go from about 60% to about 70% to about 80%. So I knew I was heading in the right direction and uh, was getting there. And then today I sat the test. Massive thanks to Golf 3 Yankee Zulu Oscar Robert, who was my invigilator for the RSGB. I only realised halfway through my intermediate test that actually our invigilators are just volunteers giving up their time. I assumed some of my fee went to pay them their wages, but they're just lovely people giving up their time. So thank you, Robert, for giving up your Saturday morning for me. Um, and uh, yeah, I... I did the exam. I went through, I flagged all of the questions that I struggled with and the ones that I could answer confidently I didn't go back to because I think with multiple choice you can sometimes talk yourself out of the right answer. So once I made a decision I left it. At the end of the exam there were 18 questions that I'd flagged. I went back through them. I'd say four of them were just a, co a complete guess. I had no idea what to do so I just guessed one of them and uh, my final score was 46 out of 58, which isn't a blinder. I got full marks in the foundation. I only lost one mark in the intermediate. But frankly, because I only had four weeks to revise, which is my own fault, I wasn't quite as ready as I'd like to have been. But still, 80%, not a bad final score. As a result, I've treated myself to a new radio because, of course, what, what do we need is another radio. It doesn't matter how many you've got, you probably just need one or two more. So I've treated myself to an FT3D, which will be arriving at some point in the next week or so. And I look forward to showing you around that radio and taking it out for a couple of tests. So do join me here on my YouTube channel. Do like and subscribe and uh, watch out about this time next week. Hopefully I'll be announcing what my new call sign will be. But until then, I am still Ben. I'm 2 Echo Zero. Bravo, Mike Tango. Off and clear. 7-3. Uh, this is 2 Echo Zero. Bravo, Mike Tango. Returning.